Hello, it's October 15th, 2013, and I'm doing a CompuFu bit. October 15th, if we turn the slash into a caret, we get calculator notation, 10 caret 15. 10, 10 caret 15 is the metric prefix peta, and if we went ahead and multiplied 10 with itself 15 times, we'd get the number 1 quadrillion. Well, right now, the fastest supercomputer in the world uh, belongs to China. It's called Milky Way 2. And it was benchmarked back in June at 33.86 petaflops, which means that supercomputer can do approximately 33 billion 860 trillion arithmetic calculations per second. Now, to me that's science fiction. It's like, no, no way, that can't be true. But then, you know, I just pinch myself to remind myself that we are 13 years into the 21st century, and it's true. The third Tuesday of October, which just happens to be today, Petascale Day, is also celebrated as Ada Lovelace Day. And here comes a breeze. This makes us go back to Charles Babbage and his analytical machine. Back 179 years ago, Babbage and Ada Lovelace collaborated on some notes for his analytical machine. and. This effort on the part of Ada Lovelace has many people uh, claiming that she was the first computer programmer. So here, right now, on October 15, 2013, we have supercomputer that can do 33.86 quadrillion arithmetic calculations per second. 179 years ago, we had the first computer programmer. Just a couple little interesting tidbits, or at least I find them interesting. The forecast is by 2020, we will have 22 billion devices connected to the Internet. It's called the Internet of Things. And these devices will be generating 5 quintillion bytes of data per day. That's five exabytes. And the computing roadmap predicts that by the end of this decade, 2018, 2019, we will have exascale computing. That's a thousand petaflops. I don't know. I just find this stuff somewhat fascinating although I have a hard time believing it and I don't understand it, I just think we're living in the future. End movie.